ambiance so classy <laughs> so bougie guys it's already feeling like the best race <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so for those of you who know me thank you so much for your support and for those of you who don't know me my name is emily and thank you so much for watching today's video so i'm currently at uh, ucr also previously known as smart hall and uh, i'm just shooting at my friend's place and this video of ucr the tour is also coming soon so yeah and today we'll be doing a tour of lisbeck the worst res at UCT. I know that there's been a lot of rumors and negative things about Lisbeck that I want to clear up today. So in today's video, I will be visiting my friends Frances and Omo. And Frances will be the one to tell us a little bit about her life before Lisbeck at Rochester House. And she will also describe the whole bathtub situation and also how to conquer the bathtub situation um, and also how to choose a room at Lisbeck. Then she will um, tell us why she chose to be in self-catering when she had an option to go to, you know, private accommodation. Then she will just talk a little bit about what it's like having a car, you know, in res and at school, and also how she does her grocery shopping at Lisbeck, and also how to do laundry at Lisbeck. And um, yeah, then in the end, I will have a little walkthrough of her apartment, and also I'll be visiting Omo and just looking at his apartment as well. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey guys, um, welcome to my crib. So <laughs> I am Frances. <laughs> I'm a third year AXI student and this is my first year at Leesbeck and so far so good. Which res were you at before you came to Leesbeck? So I was at Rochester House in Arms first. Yeah. So it's a catering res and I was there for two years. Okay, did you like it? Did you like the food there? I do not like the food because I don't eat red meat, so I eat a lot of chicken oh. and you get incredibly sick of those chicken thighs day in and day out. So self-catering was a really nice change for me. Okay. Yeah. So do you feel like Lisbeck is as bad as everyone else says it is? Like not at all. I think in terms of room size, it's yes. incredible. Yes. I think it's really nice. I think the people are nice. Um, I mean, I'm lucky because my roommate is so nice, okay. so I don't shout have that to her. Shout yeah, out. shout out to Spit, she's the best. Okay. And what about the bathtub situation? I think that's the yeah, question that then question. everyone is asking yeah. about. So, I mean, I was super concerned about that when I got told that I was in yeah. Eastbank for this year. Um, but what I did is I came and I spoke to like the front desk lady, and she just actually told me that rooms 1 to 13 on all of the floors have showers. So it's a bathtub with a shower. Okay. So, FYI, if you do want to have a shower, yeah, yeah, yeah. choose rooms 1 to 13. Um, but I think there are plans to expand the rooms that have showers, like so that the other rooms do have. So hopefully, soonish, it's not going to be a concern for everyone. Okay, so yeah. eventually, you think that the plan is that everyone will have the shower in yeah. that situation? Yeah, I think, so I think so. it's really difficult. Like yes. You just have to bath every day, and yes. maybe if that's what you like. Okay. But I can do that. <laughs> and what made you choose res again? Because I know that there were plans of you, you know, moving into you know a young apartment. Yeah, a young flat. Um, why did you choose res again? So I think for me, it's just kind of like the security almost of being in a res. Like if something did go wrong with my roommate, the res would be able to sort it out. I'd be able to make a plan rather than having like a lease which I'd have to break if I needed to move which I think has more like serious implications. Yes, yes. And I think like if something goes wrong in res, there are always people to help. So there's a oh, house come and there's yes. wardens and there's maintenance people. So I don't really have to deal with stuff by myself. There's always oh, somebody there to help. I get you. So, so that support. really appeals to me. Yeah, yeah, the support structure. Okay, cool. And let's talk about the different types of rooms that you were saying. The A, B, C, what? What yeah. is going on with that? So the way that the rooms are labeled is that the biggest room which I'm not in. I'm in room B. So room A has a balcony. It used to be the lounge when these oh. were like normal oh, people's yeah. flats. So those don't have built-in cupboards, what you can see behind me, but they are bigger and they do have a balcony. So I have a B room, okay. which is a little bit smaller, but it's got awesome cupboards. I mean, you can see there's massive windows. The view is yes. incredible still. Um, I mean, 
I love it. Okay. And then there's also C rooms, which we actually don't have in our apartment. We only have an A and a B room. But the C rooms are the third smaller room, which are on the inside of the building. So they look out into the courtyard. Mm -hmm. So I know that it's a bit harder for some people because you can hear everybody walking past all the time because you do look out onto the passageway. Yeah. But yeah, those are the three types of rooms at the moment. And I know there are four rooms set up, but I actually I don't really know much about that. The D. Oh, yeah, so you don't the know D. Oh, okay. I've never seen one of those, but okay. I know they exist. Okay, cool. And you know what? When it comes to res rooms, size does matter. And Francis, how does the car situation work? Like just the car situation, yeah. how does it work? So I mean, I have a car, so I <laughs> so I did have to pay for a parking sticker how much to park on campus. It was a thousand one hundred rand. So it's pretty expensive, um, but that is for the whole year, and it, it just doesn't guarantee that you're going to get parking. Yeah, yeah. If you have an eight a.m., it's fine. Nobody else is there. Like, oh really. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you've got a ten a.m., good luck. Yeah. Like I'm glad it's not me. Oh, is it? Um, like it's really difficult to find parking on yeah. campus, but because I paid for parking, my student card is activated, so I can park in the underground parking. Okay. So how's the parking situation actually? Um, it's really good. I mean, there's always space available and it's very safe. So it's you really never have to look for parking. Never. Like it's always right by the lift. So it's very easy. Okay. Cool. But it definitely it isn't an isn't a necessity to have a car. Okay. Like. Because the jammy is so regular and so reliable, like you can get everywhere that you need without a car. Okay. Like it is just, it makes my life a little bit easier because I can go shopping whenever I need to. Are there any shops? Life. Are there shops around here? So, so there is like an okay down the road, but it's quite small and it doesn't really have fruit and vegetables. Okay. So I normally do a big shop at the pick and pay by Cavendish every week. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there is another pick and pay in Ops which you could go to. Yeah. There is can all you the shops in Redbush. Ops. No, it's a little bit far. Okay, little bit yeah, okay. but I mean, if you are on campus, it's easy to walk down to Rondebosch and do a shop there. Okay. And because the Lisbeth Jeremy does go past Tugwell, yes. you can catch that back. Okay, so cool. it makes it easier. To Guys, I just want to say again that this place is honestly truly massive. Yeah. And then the laundry? What's the laundry situation like? So the laundry room is quite big. There are like maybe eight or nine washing machines and a similar amount of tumble dryers. Mm -hmm. So literally there's always one eight or nine. Did you say eight or nine? Eight or nine. Yes. On one floor? Oh so no it's a common thing for the whole res. Downstairs. The whole res? Yes, but I mean nobody does their laundry all at once and it takes twenty minutes for a cycle. Oh so okay, cool. even if everybody for some reason did decide right yeah, now yeah. I'm doing my laundry, yeah. Then it'd take you like thirty minutes to oh. kind of get your turn. Oh. So it really isn't like laundry there's always Space. Uh, one open. Okay. Cool. So the only issue is that we don't have laundry lines. So I mean, some people like I don't like tumble drying my yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, Because it's not really good for like yes. exercise clothes. Yes. So I just dry stuff in my room. I put yes. up a laundry line, oh. then a dry inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So guys, I'm just going to quickly do a walkthrough of the apartment so that you feel the vibe and the layout. To visit my other friend because I have so many friends. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hey guys. Let's go. So yeah, guys, okay, this is my this is my place. Here's uh, okay. the kitchen, you know, standard setup. Uh, oh, okay. Stuff with the oven, washer dishes there, my yeah. um yeah, they can keep up things you guys want to know. Open the free, yeah, open. I've had it.
I go, well, where's the light? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as teacher. Okay, um, cool, cool. So we divided how you would like everyone to do things. Oh, like play, play. Oh, you can see by the eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Everyone has the, the traits. Oh, okay, so, 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 Bathtub and shower head, so it's not that bad. And you know, your least big essential, um, yeah, the least big essential. <laughs> <laughs> you know it, you know it. Um, and then heading over that side, okay. No, it's fine. Let's just go to your room. Let's just go to your room. Yeah, wow, guys, wow. so much for watching my video and I hope this was helpful to those who are going to be living in Lisbeck next year or those people who are going to be choosing resis or whatever the situation is. A special shout out to my friends Francis and Omo for allowing me into their homes and also a special shout out to Emmanuel, my cameraman as well as the editor of this video. Thank you so much, enjoy, subscribe! Mwah, 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 mwah.